Welcome to ancient England, where history is filled with intrigues, battles, and cultural symbols. Today, we will tell the story of King Edward I and the mysterious fate of the Stone of Scone. King Edward I, also known as Edward Longshanks, ruled England in the 13th century. He was known for his ambitious policies and desire to expand English territories. During this time, Scotland was embroiled in a struggle for independence. When Scottish King William the Lion died, Edward I saw an opportunity to intervene in Scottish affairs. In 1296, he invaded Scotland, capturing Edinburgh and establishing English dominance. This intervention marked the beginning of a long and bloody struggle between the two kingdoms. One of the most iconic symbols of this conflict became the Stone of Scone, an ancient artifact used in the coronation of Scottish kings. Edward I took it to England, which became a symbol of the loss of Scottish independence. The Scots were not willing to surrender. Led by heroes like William Wallace and Robert Bruce, they began a rebellion to reclaim their freedom. In 1297, Wallace achieved a remarkable victory at the Battle of Stirling Bridge, becoming a symbol of Scottish resistance. The Stone of Scone remained in Westminster Abbey until the 1950s when a group of Scottish students decided to return it to its homeland. They stole the stone and hid it in Arbroath Abbey, but the stone was soon found and returned to England. Only in 1996, after years of debate, was the Stone of Scone officially returned to Scotland, where it now resides in Edinburgh Castle. The story of Edward I and the Stone of Scone is not just about conflict, but about the struggle for identity and freedom. This ancient artifact continues to live in the hearts of the Scots, symbolizing their indomitable spirit.